In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate the center of mass for a distribution of mass points. So as you can see, we have an xy plane here with three points, and each point represents a mass positioned somewhere along this plane. To calculate the balance point, or the center of mass in this case, we'll be using the formula shown underneath. And notice that r in this formula is written in boldface, which means that it is a vector. So it should have two components, one for x and one for y. The first thing that we will do is add up the three masses, and that will represent the capital M in this formula. So M is equal to 20 plus 18 plus 12. Adding those up, we end up with 50 kilograms. Now you don't need to include the units into the formula as we are doing this. So I'll just leave it as vector R. And when you write a vector by hand, you put a arrow at the top to signify what it is. CM represents center of mass, and that is equal to 1 over 50. Now for this part, to decode that, what we do is open up parentheses, and we take the mass for each individual particle, this one being 20 kilograms, and we multiply it by the x and y components for each of these points. So for this point, positioned at 3 and 3, it can be written as 3 times the unit vector i plus 3 times the unit vector j. The unit vector i is for the horizontal axis and j is for the vertical axis. Now because we have this Greek symbol sigma, we are going to do this for each of these points and add them up, take their sum. So plus this has a mass of 12 and the components can be written as 1i, positive 1i, minus 1j. And make sure that each of these unit vectors, it's easy to forget, make sure that they all have their own arrows. And the last mass was 18 kilograms, so plus 18, bracket negative 2i, plus, we don't want to write down plus minus next to each other, that just becomes minus 2j. Now we will multiply each of these scalar quantities, these are the scalar quantities, to the vectors. So remember we have 1 over 50 at the outskirt of this equation. 20 times 3 is 60i. 20 times 3 is 60i. 20 times 3 is again 60j. This becomes 12i minus 12j, and that will equal to minus 36i minus 36j. We will combine these like we combine like terms. So this one, that, and that will be combined together. 60 plus 12 makes 72, and 72 minus 36 is 36. So 36i, 60 minus 12 makes 48, minus 36 is 12. So positive 12j. And again, I forgot the arrow, I put it back. 1 over 50. We'll multiply 1 over 50 to each of these, much the same way we did above, giving us 36 over 50i, plus 12 over 50 j. You have to reduce these. So that reduces down to 6 over 25, and this reduces down to 18 over 25i. You can write this down as a point, and feel free to change it into decimal form. So you should have a point at 0 0.24 for your y coordinate, and for your x coordinate, 18 over 25 makes 0 0.72. If we were to put this into this plane here, 0 0.72 and 0 0.24 is around here, somewhere here. So somewhere here is the center of mass for these three points, and that is how to calculate the center of mass.